been, lived in the area all my life, went to school here, work here. I've lived here 48 years. My children grew up here, mm -hmm. went to school here. It's a changing community, it's always been changing. I've seen a lot of changes in the time, mm -hmm. but Burnt Oak is still the centre of things. People have always been quite disparaging about Burnt Oak, uh -huh. but I really like it. Mm -hmm. And lots of people I know really like it and it attracts lots and lots of people. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know, it's about finding that balance. In this area, people have to work hard mm -hmm. to live. Mm -hmm. um, it costs a lot of money to live here. Mm -hmm. uh, even if you are in social housing, it's still quite expensive. So, mm -hmm. you've, you know, we have to work, we have to look after our children, we have to look after our older mm -hmm. people, the cuts in the services generally are making it harder for people. What's really important to me is that the current climate we're in with lots of buildings going up, lot of housing shortage we keep being told about, is to protect some parts of London from this massive overdevelopment. In a way, I think there should be an independent republic of burnt oak. <laughs> it's really important that we don't start doing what we've done around the surrounding areas where estates have failed, mm -hmm. so the, the solution is to knock it down and build lots of private housing. Mm. And absolutely don't want to do that here. The, the same problems happen all the way down, mm. which are problems caused by the boundaries between the boroughs. Mm. The fact that the three local authorities are all concerned with their own problems and they're more central problems rather than problems on the boundary. Mm -hmm. You get the feeling that they would like to put a wall down the middle right. and not deal with the other side. To develop the community as a whole rather than it being artificially divided. I just felt this was an opportunity to get involved in something that's not just talking about mm -hmm. problems and issues but might be able to actually do something real. I don't like to continually talking about stuff. You either do something about it or you stop talking about mm. it. The future is obviously mm. to develop Burnt Oak mm. itself as a, as a unit. If we set up the forum, it's about challenging the authorities mm -hmm. and taking them to task and saying, we're the people, we are living here, we are working here, we're mm -hmm. playing here, we're praying here, we, we care about it. We are able to come together as a community mm -hmm. to make this work. We need one unifying authority centred on Burnt Oak with that as its problem. Really, I don't think we can do it any other way because Burnt Oak is Burnt Oak. Oh, I'm a resident of Burnt Oak. I don't think of myself as living in Brent at all. I'm a Burnt Oak, Edgeware, right. Hollandale person. Mm. The shops and the schools and the churches and the religious people, mm. it's Burnt Oak. Mm. It's not Brent, it's not Harrow, it's not Barnet. Getting other, member, other members of the community to come along mm -hmm. and, and buy into this and see the benefit of it and... and basically do the work as well. Yes, there are challenges, but to find the answer to them is the, is, is the challenge, and yep. that's the, what's ahead of us. Definitely to start the process. If a problem is caused by the boundary, then that's where you've got to, hey, you've got to tackle it, I right. think. Be realistic, but, and, and then something that I haven't done that I know I need to do, do your own research. So there is so much information out there that I keep keeps coming through the computer, through the internet, through Twitter. Mm. Make time to just go and make sure that you're clearing your own mind. Try and set some time aside to, to look into what other people have been doing. I'm sure that there are many areas around in London and probably elsewhere in the country where, where mm. the problems are similar. You don't have to reinvent the wheel.